Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tech stuff with me, tech stuff with Akshaj. And uh, so it's actually been a week after using this uh, Samsung Galaxy F62. And today let's check out the full detailed review of this smartphone, guys. So I've divided the video as you can see between pros and cons. So we'll start with the pros and end up with the cons. So well, without wasting any more time, uh, let's get started. So yeah, this is actually a very great phone, I have to say, because you know, there are uh, very less cons that I have to tell you. Uh, this is almost a perfect smartphone. So yeah, the first uh, pros that I want to tell you is that the battery. Now you know, uh, like the battery life on this would be great. It's a huge battery, 7000 mAh battery. Uh, so yeah, again, uh, easily last. I need not talk about this too much because you know this uh, 7000 mAh battery means you will easily get it about 3, 3 and a half days. So same in this case, easily 3 days. Uh, but yeah, when actually you buy and set up this phone, uh, this will not give you such great battery life. But yeah, after a usage of 1 week to 2 weeks, then this will show that battery power. Now I easily get after using uh, for a week, I get this for 3 days and this shows 2 days but this lasts for 3 days right from 100 to 0% uh, charge and but yeah this again takes a lot of time in charging I will tell about it later so yeah uh, that was the first pros battery life is really really great I have to say because really this lasts for 3 days and 3 uh, maybe 3 to 3 and a half days uh, so yeah very great uh, well the next pros I have to say is that uh, uh, the weight management now you have to concentrate over here like this weighs many people say this weighs too much like yeah yeah this feels a bit uh, this feels like a rock in hand because you know 7000 mAh battery means uh, that adds on a lot of weight and this is the same case but you know the management of the weight uh, is actually done well uh, if you catch the phone for about 5 minutes or if you catch the phone for some time you will like surely uh, feel that weight but if you just catch it and use it uh, for a while you won't feel that uh, weight that uh, like on your hand because you know the management of the weight is very good but still I uh, thought they would use uh, they could use that back uh, quality because you know this feels hollow here so yeah they could improve this physical aspect Okay, so uh, the next pros I want to tell you about is, um, you know, the processor, you know, um, the processor on this is uh, 9825, Exynos 9825 and they say that this, they actually claim that this is a flagship processor. Now, uh, I mean, really don't feel this is a, a flagship kind of a processor um, because, you know, again, uh, uh, the phone, the features of this phone, uh, there are bundles of features, tons of features. So, uh, like again, that processor uh, is not very great. So, but yeah, uh, this comes in a, under the pro section because this manages the phone very well. Now, I open an application and close it. Um, any, you, if you are a normal user of a phone, this would be actually a great deal for you because there are actually this is actually very fast rapid fast uh, but yeah again if you're gaming then this is actually not a choice for you but yeah overall the the processor what what they used is actually i feel it's the correct processor because you know uh, this um, this manages the phone very well there is no lag no frame drop nothing like that when you're normally using the phone it's super fast so yeah the next pros I want to talk about is actually uh, the quick toggles. Well, you don't get many quick toggles in any phone, but currently Samsung is doing this. Uh, like, I really like this because in a phone of a mid ranger you're getting so many uh, quick toggles. And uh, by the way, this is the phone which is fusion of A series and M series. You get great battery life in M series and uh, about flagship features in that uh, a series phone so both of them fusion but yeah we can actually see uh, some of the features uh, which are actually new and we cannot uh, see in that f series or uh, uh, a series sorry a series also so yeah this is like a new phone with all new features really i like this hats off to samsung and actually a thank you to samsung 
for giving so many quick toggles in a mid-ranger smartphone. Uh, this clearly shows that uh, this phone is capable of doing many things. And we even have NFC in this, yeah. So, and again, I won't cover all the physical aspects. If you want to know about this in detail, watch my other uh, video that is unboxing and overview. I'll link up that in the i button above. You can check that out. And yeah, uh, again, the physical quality could be improved. I am saying this too much. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's worst, but it's very good. But uh, somehow feel that can be improved because uh, this feels hollow in the middle. When you catch it, uh, sometimes uh, you go, don't get that uh, premium look or a good feel with this kind of a uh, glass stick. On my A50, it was actually very good. But here, I don't know why, uh, what happened with this one. Okay, uh, let's move on to the other pros. And the next pros I want to actually uh, tell you is that the camera. Well, now, uh, this phone actually surprised me in terms of camera. You get a 64 megapixel main camera, huge. But I really didn't feel that this would do such a great job with the cameras because uh, this is not a camera-centric smartphone. Yeah. Hello, caution. This is not a camera centric smartphone, but uh, still, this actually has done a superb job because the cameras are simply amazing. I cannot express it. Now, um, you get a 32 megapixel main camera, 64 megapixel rear camera, uh, sorry, 32 megapixel sel uh, selfie camera, and a 64 megapixel rear camera with uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth camera, and 5 megapixel macro camera. Um, when we have a, even a con in uh, uh, this camera system, we'll talk about in the cons one. Uh, so yeah, here are some sample pics. You can just check the sample pics out, and I'll explain all about all the photos to you. So guys, these are the sample pics, and this is that uh, normal shot. This is that ultra wide. This is that 2x zoom. This is that 4x zoom and this is that 10x zoom guys. This is again that normal shot, the ultra wide, the 2x zoom, the 4x zoom and again that 10x zoom. This is that normal shot, this is that portrait mode and this is that macro shot guys. Again the normal shot. The portrait mode and that macro shot. Now this is regarding human subjects. This is that normal shot and this is that portrait mode. So this is uh, in indoor conditions. Normal shot, portrait mode and this is that a uh, macro shot. So guys, those were the cameras and as you can see, the camera was actually literally amazing, uh, superb, no words. Uh, hats off to Samsung for giving such a good camera on a mid-range smartphone. This is the reason actually so many pros are even more upcoming now in this video. Uh, the reason was like I had already said in that uh, unboxing video that this is like a flagship smartphone. The features, the cameras, the toggles, uh, everything resembles into that uh, flagship category. So yeah, really I like this phone and the cameras especially too much so moving on to the next pros that is the design what they call laser gradient design and uh, i told you that this is hollow that i will uh, like tell you in the pro uh, cons but yeah i'm just talking about the outer design this lasers the lines what are coming lasers and this gradient blue and gray design is actually very good i like this i actually love this and this is the reason most of the people get attracted and this blue color is actually amazing. So that was this. Uh, they have chosen a good design to attract people by their design. Uh, Samsung is doing this too much nowadays and uh, the design of the phones like what do you see in M42 also that is a newly launched smartphone in M series also has that laser gradient rectangular design which is good. And I like that phones nowadays uh, are not coming like uh, with a normal design and we have this uh, different designs which are I which like are simply amazing by the way if you are enjoying this video a sub channel will be uh, staggering 
and please do like the video if you are liking this video of course well sorry to interrupt like that again and yeah let's move on to the next pros that is that fingerprint scanner sorry sensor whatever you call it uh, well i place my thumb and this comes out like this very fast i have to say uh, this is actually the best i prefer this uh, integrated uh, uh, fingerprint scanner because it's a two in one job and you need not press it actually you just put your finger and this unlocks like this so uh, that's something i like and this is actually pretty fast within a second this unlocks the phone like this chuck so yeah that is something i really like and samsung has started giving this also so yeah very good very good uh, fingerprint scanner next uh, man this amoled screen is actually amazing i have to say if you have uh, watched my that uh, gaming test of the smartphone if you have not watched it just check the i button above you can watch it um but yeah do watch this video full just don't skip this video okay so this amoled screen does a great job in terms like we get a standard 60 hertz of refresh rate so uh, while gaming so there is actually we have this game booster also i'll talk about that now and uh, uh, that enhances the gaming and then you actually need more uh, refresh rate for the smoothness and uh, to not have any frame drops while that uh, gaming but this amoled screen balances the phone uh, like uh, uh, we have the game booster so this actually requires 90 hertz of refresh rate uh, minimum but this amoled screen quality is actually very good we also get a gorilla glass protection 3 which uh, uh like enhances the smoothness so this balances that uh, uh, even though we have 60 hertz this balances that and uh, uh, manages the work but still if we could get 90 hertz or 120 hertz that would be amazing like simply then this would be a superb smartphone uh, but yeah we couldn't get that i don't know why this is a not a con uh, literally not a con just a suggestion to samsung that uh, maybe they have given could given so we get in just 17000 18000 smartphones like redmi note 10 pro uh, realme 8 pro uh, moto g60 moto g40 fusion uh, in all of those we get 120 hertz of refresh rate so we could actually uh, got that in this price range i don't know why samsung is doing this leave that okay so moving that uh, to the next pros that is that game booster uh, well this game booster i have to say i've never seen such a good game booster um well uh, you you game on this part you will actually know that game booster what is it doing when you actually game on this a uh, smartphone normally ga normal gaming you will have minor lags uh, uh, if you are playing a racing game then you will have uh, too much lag uh, normal smartphones what you use even though uh, they are uh, like in this range but this game booster actually enhances the game uh, we uh, got to see that nice colors that punchy colors and there would actually be no uh, much uh, lag I, there is no lag but minor frame drops that too when you observe a lot uh, so that's the only thing um, but yeah the game booster is actually amazing the game booster and the amoled screen actually turn this phone into a medium uh, gaming phone actually this is a or uh, if you want an all in one phone with cameras good cameras and if you want that gaming too much then i would uh suggest this because this gaming on this uh, with the game booster has become great so yeah uh moving on to the next pros that is that uh, uh, mic quality speaker quality device speakers uh so let me tell you about that uh well the speaker quality is actually very good let me just uh play one of my own uh, videos um let me just uh, play one of my own videos and let me tell you how is that uh, sound quality on this uh, one well i have to say the sound quality on when i tested is pretty loud uh, but yeah just listen to this protect uh, hey what's up guys back with another video this is me akshar and you are watching 
so yeah as you see this is pretty loud uh, but in, at the same time we don't get stereo speakers again this is something when you compare with other phones like uh, uh, redmi note 10 a uh, pro pro max realme 8 pro uh, you see that they give at a very low price range but here they are not getting that stereo speakers yeah but the single speaker is good goes pretty loud uh but somehow i felt the device speakers are better than this uh, normal speakers this when on the high uh, tone like when you keep the volume full uh, this blurs that uh, sound a bit but when you like take calls certain calls with that device speaker uh, the device speaker is very good fabulous but this uh, speaker i hope they could improve that maybe they can fix, fix it with that od update i don't know and my quality uh let me show you a video of mine uh to like show you the my quality of this uh smartphone so guys i am currently recording this video on my terrace and actually this is 4k and you guys tell me in the comments how is the my quality of this uh, samsung galaxy f62 so guys uh that was that mic quality which was actually very good uh, the only thing i feel that the mic quality is good uh like good i don't have any problem the mic quality is good the device speakers that are on the top they are good the external speakers are also good but can be improved so that with the pros half video more than half was actually pros many pros in this and now let's talk about the cons which uh people ask for so guys starting with the first con Uh, I, I told you that there are cons in this camera also. So the con is that by taking portrait shots, like it doesn't take perfect portrait shots. It doesn't blur out the uh, background or what we uh, the object. It focuses the object well, but doesn't blur the background very well. You have to literally try a lot for that uh, background blur. You have to spend a lot of time. And the second one, the macro camera should be. should be really improved i have to say this uh, i don't know whether they can fix it with an opt update if they can please do it samsung because the macro camera is doing its job uh, but just average not even good so i don't recommend to take macro shots much from this smartphone because the macro camera is not very good sadly uh, so the next con is the heating issue Uh, well i have not faced much heating issues with any other samsung phone i am a samsung lover uh, i have used many samsung phones but uh, in this phone uh, there is no uh, surprisingly there is no uh, heating issue while gaming where you find in most of the smartphones there is no heating issue while charging but when you normally use it or uh, like you use it for a long time this gets we heated up so that's something which surprised me literally because when in normal use for about 20 minutes uh this heats up and if you are multitasking just forget it this heats up too much you cannot and while fixing the like while uh, uh when the phone got boot up and i was setting up the phone i could not even catch the phone for a minute in my hand this got so hot but only while i was setting this up and again i never faced that kind of heat but yeah again sometimes uh, when you have used it too much or you multitask with this phone or you or you play uh, um high motion effect uh, uh, you play games which has uh, many motion graphics uh, like uh, uh, ps21 or fifa games just like that football games or uh, cricket uh, where they show it like a stadium and you have lot of motion graphics this heats up at the back and the cameras really heat up really really heat up so that was that and the next con is that uh, uh, well uh, this uh, the amid screen balances everything but you know the, this is a bundle of cons which which i am ending like you could get stereo speakers you could get uh, 120 hertz or 90 hertz of refresh rate uh so and these are the two uh, cons which actually affect this uh, smartphone and like uh, they sometimes give you thoughts uh, you get some queries you ponder uh, thinking whether you have to buy this or not i suggest this phone to you but it would be even great if 
we uh, got those stereo speakers and 120 hertz of refresh rate because with that uh, you actually uh, could get a great deal at the price of 20,000 uh, where the other brands are giving uh, IR blaster with uh, most of the things in 17,000 price range uh, we are not getting all of that at 23,000 to 25,000 well this comes in two variants that is 8 gigabyte of ram and 6 gigabytes of uh, and 6 gigabytes of ram and both of them have 128 gigabytes of internal storage with ufs 3.1 uh, well, uh, if you ask me what to buy, uh, please uh, keep that 2000 rupees extra and please buy that 8GB uh, one because you know, if you want a bit gaming or if you want a bit fast phone, well, that would be uh, good for you because uh, I don't say this bad, this is good, but that would be better. And the last con what I have is uh, the processor. We get a flagship processor at this price range, which is superb. But again, we could get a Snapdragon processor. Snapdragon processor, you know it, what it is capable of. If you do and to do test, if you do that throttle test, Snapdragon processor would be uh, slightly more stable. It would be more efficient. It would be uh, more good. Uh, they could use a Snapdragon 750 or a Snapdragon 720G, uh, whatever they can. But yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, I truly feel they can use Snapdragon, Snapdragon 850, uh, because you know, uh, not 850, sorry, Snapdragon 750. Uh, Snapdragon 750 is one of the most stable uh, uh, processors at this price range. So yeah, a just a suggestion to Samsung, please uh, do use Snapdragon 750 uh, processor in uh, like phones like these. And we are actually getting Snapdragon processors at S20, FE and M series now. So I think Samsung has already started implementing it. So very good Samsung for doing that. Please do for phones like this also. And guys, that's all for this video. And if you have not still subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button now. Like the video if you have liked it, please do encourage us by hitting that like button. I hope this video was informative. Please do uh, share this video. My um, unboxing video actually crossed uh, three, uh, 350 views and I think it has got 400 views like now. Thank you for giving me so many views. I really thank you and please do the same for this uh, video also. I hope this video also goes to that more than 300 views. So yeah, take care guys. Please do like take precautions. The coronavirus is like just blowing our minds and uh, please do always wear a mask if you are going out. And well, that's all for this video. If you have, sorry, I'm repeating this too much. Like, okay, take it guys and meet you in the next one. Until then, take care and bye-bye guys.